Annyeonghaseyo everyone. Hi guys, my name is Kadishi and this is Nigerian Korean Lover. So guys, it's the month of Chuseok. And for those who don't know, Chuseok is a popular holiday in South Korea. It is a three days lunar harvest festival that is being compared to like the Korean Thanksgiving. It's also seen as Korean Thanksgiving. It is held in like September or October and for the year 2024, it is held in this September, okay? And in this video, I want to share with you guys or I want you guys to meet with me, Samsung Songpyeon. And this is the key influencer pop up mission for the month of August, September. So, in experiencing Chuseok and trying to sh show Chuseok, I'm going to be making Song Pion. Okay, so let's jump right into the video. Song Pion. Welcome to my channel. This is a Korean channel. So guys, my channel is named Nigerian Korean Lover. It's a channel born out of the interest of the Korean culture art. Okay, I'm also interested in collaborating. You know, if you love Korean culture, or if you want me to like review Korean products, you can email me and you can send me a DM. So Song Pyong, yeah, is made during is made on Chuseok to thank the ancestors and the heavens for fresh fruits and grains harvest. Okay. So when we are looking at Chuseok, we recognize that one of the popular meal that is being done during Chuseok is Song Pyong. Okay. So now in this video, I want us to make Song Pyong together. It is the rice cake that is made from newly non glutorious flour, non glutorious rice flour with boiling water filling it with dough such as sesame seed bean or red bean forming it into a scallop shaped and streaming steaming it in pine noodles song pyong is made during chuseok like i've said so guys join me while i make song pyong okay the recipe level is a challenging level and yeah i'm super excited to try this out it is a korean meal guys it is a rice cake that is made of kneading non glutonous rice as you can see so let's jump right into the video so guys in case you don't know what samsung pyong is it is rice cake that is made by kneading non glutonous rice flour with boiling water filling the dough with sesame seed beans or red beans forming it into scalloped shape and steaming it on pine noodles so guys i have a video of me unboxing this you check it out i'll put it in my description and above okay so samsung pyong is made on Chuseong to thank the ancestors and the heavens for the fresh fruit and grain and harvest so guys let's go right into the ingredients that we need so first of all we need that which is sweet pumpkin powder or cactus powder that's green tea powder and then that is um, pumpkin powder this is toasted sesame seed and that is sesame oil okay we have three sesame oil and that is salt grasswood salt and um, that is cutting cloth that we will use to wrap it and then that is um, short green flour and that is this is our um, samsig song pionke recipe guide so let's jump right into it the first step is to mix the glutonium rice and salt in a large bowl so i'm measuring the salt so that i can know like how to share it equally and we have like two cups in that um, nylon so um, we'll add salt we had the um, salt into the bag which you can see so i'm measuring the salt okay so i've added salt into it so i'll mix it properly um so what i'm the measurement i'm using is uh for the salt is three gram of salt okay so i've added everything and i'm mixing it now that i'm mixing it you know i am making sure that the salt mixes properly with the this thing with the flour and now i'm measuring it into like different bowls that's three different bowls so uh, after mixing this you know after sharing them i'll go ahead to separate them into different bags okay so i'm divide i've divided the entire powder into three parts and i'm putting it in sanitary bags okay so after putting the three in sanitary bags which you can see me do i'll go ahead you know to mix it so that we can get a different color uh yeah so <laughs> i'll keep this one and use it for the white i didn't want like anything to waste so i had to scrape it because it's already measured so guys in this um 
in this box this is what i'm using i'm using the sweet pumpkin powder and the green tea powder okay so yeah well, let me go ahead to you know open the green tea powder yeah and put it inside one of the bags of oil um bags of um, flour okay so yeah let's pour it inside and mix it properly so i'll just keep doing it you know so that um you can see it i want you guys to see how i'm doing it so let me keep it in one place then i'm going to put the sweet pumpkin powder or the cactus powder anyone you want to call it you know i add it inside the flour the rice grain flour and um, put it in one side so that other one is still white so i'm not doing anything to it i'm going to mix it now as you can see i'm mixing the short grain rice flour with the green tea powder that i had done there so after mixing it i go ahead you know to put it back in the bowl because the whole point of putting it in this nylon is to be able to mix it properly so i've mixed it and i'm putting it back in the bowl guys so uh after you know putting it back in the bowl i'll go ahead to start the next process guys as you can see the old the white flower the white short green flower has already changed okay it has changed to color green okay <laughs> i hope you are like following me so with that now i'm going to like turn it so that it mixes like properly and good all round okay so i'm going to do the same thing for the sweet pumping powder or cactus powder and flour in the second nylon i'm mixing it properly so after mixing it properly you know i'll do the same and then for the white one i'll go ahead and turn it back into the bowls guys so these are the three bowls what we need now is to add boiling water so i'm adding 4.5 tablespoon of boiling water so that my measurement spoon is um is not up to um one uh it's not up to one tablespoon so i'm measuring according to like the spoon so for example this is half tablespoon so i put like two, as two of these will make one tablespoon another two will make one tablespoon so that means i'm putting eight nine of this spoon which you can see me do so um while the rice powder begins forming lump you know i keep adding water and i've told you how many tablespoon of water i'm using i'm using 4.5 tablespoon of boiling water so um i'm mixing it now as you can see so when the rice powder begins forming lumps add one other tablespoon of water so guys we can see that it's already forming lumps and i've added one tablespoon of water so i'll just go ahead to like knead it properly you know until it becomes a lump of dough which you can see i already have my dough so in case you are watching this video i want you to know that when it is hot like when you add water please don't like touch it until the what like i'm so that you don't burn your hand in other words please be careful and do not touch dough you know after boiling water so now that that is ready i'm just going to put it inside a wet cutting cloth and i'm wrapping it for 30 minutes so i will do the same thing for the flour that i mixed with um, green tea powder which you can see so let me just go over in case you don't understand it so i'm putting 4.5 tablespoon of boiling water inside my flour and i'm mixing it so i will knead it until it becomes a simple lump of dough and then i'm going to put it in um wet cotton cloth so you can see that it has already formed a dough so i'll go ahead to put it in a wet cotton cloth i'm wrapping it there and i'm going to keep it so i'm doing the same thing for this um short grain rice flour that i've mixed with sweet pumpkin powder or cactus powder so i go ahead to add 4.5 tablespoon of boiling water and i keep mixing until you know it starts to like form lumps and then i go ahead to knead it you know which i'm doing so so i knead it until it like forms a dough for me okay so when it forms a dough for me i go ahead 
to like make sure it's round and like a dough and then i place it you know in a cotton cloth or wrap and i leave it for 30 minutes so guys this is the three colors we have white green and pink so i'm going to leave it for it to like get for 30 minutes so this is our sesame seed i grinded the sesame seed with brown sugar so 30 gram of sesame seed and brown sugar now this is 30 minutes time you know um i want to put the sesame seed grinded sesame seed and um, brown sugar inside the dough so first of all mm, you make sure you like roll the um the mixture that's the dough then you cut small parts into round shapes and then you go ahead to put in your crushed sesame seed and brown sugar mixture okay make sure that you don't overfill it so that it doesn't pour or it doesn't break okay uh so using your thumb press gently in the middle of the dough ball and rotate to create a dimple like a well fill the dimple with sesame filling using a small spoon seal the well making sure that the filling does not leak out or mold and mold into a shell or half moon shape which you can see i've made the well in the middle i've closed it and it looks like half moon okay i'm just going to keep doing this for the other dough so i'll do this and it continues see when i was saying that you have to be careful so that it doesn't break okay so i just want to quickly give you tips okay traditionally sung young as steamed on the pine noodles and the subtle style is an appealing point okay so now that i've done this here i want to steam the uh okay we have the pink one so <laughs> let's go ahead to do it okay so sung pion can be made of soaked beans or boiled chestnut or not can be added at to the salmon seed okay so if you want to like do a variety to the crushed um sesame seed and brown sugar you can add nuts chestnut seed so i'm supposed to like put it in a steamer i don't have a steamer so what i did was i create put the pot on fire i put in hot water and then i put in sieve on top of the water and i arranged my dough inside so it's important for you to know that you shouldn't join okay so um during the course of you know the video where i, I separated them voila guys our samsung pyong is samsung song pyong is ready guys so the final step is that i have to like oil it with sesame oil so add sesame oil and toss the coat song pyong evenly place them for serving and that is what i'm doing guys okay so i'm super excited and i can't wait to taste this guys so i left this in the steamer for 30 minutes to 35 minutes okay so you can as well do the same so i'm just oiling this something pure so thank you guys for watching this video remember to like to share to subscribe and turn the notification button you can check my other videos on how to make kimchi jion kimchi bikupap to make sure to make korean stew yas yang chujang to make korean soup to mention a few so thank you guys for watching Do remember to like to share to subscribe and turn the notification button i'll see you guys in my next video guys this is so delicious especially with the brown sugar and sesame seed the crushed brown sugar and sesame seed that is inside yummy guys <laughs> let me know what you think in the comment section bye so i hope that you subscribe to my channel I hope that you join me in this ride as I make videos. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on.